Hi guys, it's Thomas here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about uh, a new Notion template that I've built uh, and it's called Therapy Hub. And I'm particularly happy about this because I feel it uh, like it can really help to solve uh, a pain point for, for uh, some people out there. And Therapy Hub is an operating system for therapists and mental health practitioners. So. I believe this simple out-of-box template can uh, can be used as a substitute for paying for a complicated and expensive uh, so software, and it really solves like some of the key key pain points and challenges for for therapists and and uh, and people who are uh, working as a practitioner in the mental health uh, space and sort of engaging with. With a number of clients on uh, on one on one basis in an, in this session context. So, let me show you how the template looks like, what it does, and how uh, it works over the next uh, few minutes. So, let me start with uh, the practice dashboard, uh, and this is a set of uh, simple charts which are fully customizable. But just for the showcase sake, uh, what I'm showing here is uh, the book sessions for this week. So basically day by day, uh, I can see the number of sessions and also the mode of the session, whether it's in person or whether it's uh, done remotely. Then I can see my sessions per client. So showcasing my client base and and uh, number of sessions per each each of my mm, my clients. And then the last thing, it's uh, outstanding billables. So so the amount of money that I have invoiced to my customers that hasn't been paid yet. As I said, these charts can be can be customized to show any any uh, any type of data or view in the template. Now coming to the template itself, um, what you can see here is the navigation pane, uh, add new buttons, which enables you, um, enables you to add any of these uh, of these items, and then the details in the databases. But what's important to say is that the whole template is composed out of several several databases uh, or records that uh, work and talk to each other. And on the therapy record side, we have uh, clients, of course, so client records. Then we have the therapy sessions itself. And then we have something that's called progress, progress plans. Uh, and I will get, get to all of these a bit, uh, a bit later. Uh, and then we have two key uh, admin uh, items or databases, which are billing items uh, and uh, tasks. Uh, so. Let me now kind of walk you through each of these shortly to understand how it works and what data you can you can track and store and how uh, all of this all of this works. So let's start with uh, the client records. Uh, obviously, it's kind of like the cornerstone with the sessions of the template. So if I um, open a new customer, so imagine you have a new new client coming into your practice. This is the stuff that uh, that you can track, and of course, uh, all of these parameters um, and data points you can obviously uh, change very easily. So we'll take this as a starting point, as a template, of course. Uh, so you can you can change anything that you need here. But basically, we have uh, you know things from like very simple contact um, uh, contact details. So these can be these can be tracked address. Uh, status of the customer, whether the customer is active, uh, etc. Uh, DOB, uh, primary clinician, if there's you know multiple people working in your practice or whether it's just yourself. And then we can track some very simple things around presenting issues, uh, you know insurance uh, provider, insurance IDs, if that's uh, something that you need to keep uh, keep track of. Uh, any high level notes. Uh, Etc. We can also see the number of sessions that uh, this person has uh, taken with you in your practice, and uh, the sessions uh, themselves. What you will also see here in the detail of the of the each customer is uh, is the list of the sessions that they have uh, that they have taken with you, uh, and I will get to the detail of the therapy sessions um, just in this next step. But essentially, this is a client record. As I said, you can adjust it in any way you, you prefer and you like. So tracking any of the data here about the customer. 
and any additional information can be tracked on the on on this uh, space here uh, on this like nested uh, nested page. So let's go from the customer to the session. So let me open a detail of a uh, of a particular session and there is a lot of things happening here i suppose uh, but uh, so starting with the session date and time of course uh, the medium so as i said whether it's in person or it's telehealth you can add um, you can track also like duration of the session so let's say it's 60 minutes we can adjust our uh, our rate and we can also track the session fee. So how much uh, we are billing the customer for this particular session. Of course, uh, status of the session, so whether it's scheduled, completed, canceled, uh, et cetera. Uh, and we can also uh, on a high level track uh, outcome and uh, next steps. So, so, uh, so, so for you to be able to see quickly, you know, what the outcome of the session and next steps are. Uh, then, uh, and then, there is uh, a bunch of things here, right? So you, of course, uh, link the session with uh, with the client, right? So this is a key relationship, so that so that you are here in this client field, you are basically linking this particular session to a particular customer uh, or client that you that you've created in your client uh, database. So it's important to make this link. And then what we can do from this uh, from this uh, session detail also is to automatically create either a follow-up task. So if I click this button, this will create uh, a new task and I can also create uh, a new billable, uh, which is essentially a record for me to, uh, you know, to note that I need to build this uh, session. So I will show you how that also looks like. Um, a little bit uh, a little bit later and i suppose like the last piece in the in the sessions are the session notes right so for for each session there are some pre-made uh, pre-made uh, note uh, note structures so for example if i click this like new note this uh, soap uh, methodology it uh, it sort of pre-populates the 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 uh, the work notes or the session notes here. And there are a few of these these created here. But again, it really depends on, uh, on the type of work you do and how you work with your with your clients. So these are just uh, some basic, uh, basic, basic templates for session notes, but you can of course create, create your own templates uh, based on the yeah, type of practice and type of work that you that you do. But the important thing is here that uh, if you create these new, sh new sessions here, you take uh, take the notes uh, notes here, and you also add some high level notes around, like for example, outcome and next steps uh, here. Then you will see those uh, basically by by customer, right? So for example, with uh, this guy Alex, uh, I see his detail as a customer here, but then I see the list of list of all the sessions with the session dates. Uh, outcome and next steps and goal addressed uh, here. So imagine if if you're meeting this customer for or client for a longer time, you will you will not not have here one session, but you will have uh, you know 10, 20, 30, whatever the amount here, and basically enables you to have everything neatly stored in in one place under under this uh, this customer. So those are the sessions. Uh, then we have the progress plans, and progress plans are uh, um, a way to track longer term uh, progress, which spans over several sessions. So again, what we do with each plan is that you can link the uh, particular customer this relates to. Uh, so again, we're creating this link between uh, between the progress plan and the customer, and we can also, or and we should also. Uh, link the sessions this this particular plan relates to right so as you can see here the session is uh, is, is is linked here and what uh, when is this useful is that uh, if you want to track longer term goals if you want to want to track 
go statements uh, or interventions used uh, with this particular person over a longer period of time and not just through one session you can do that you can do that here and so so this is something that is essentially yeah essentially like a place for you to be able to track these longer term plans goals um, and outcomes with uh, with your clients and again once this link is established between the the client and these sessions that relates to this particular plan these sessions will then appear here uh, in the uh, similarly to the customer detail uh, they will also appear here so basically you can see that i have this progress plan set up with this particular customer uh, and we've uh, discussed or been working on this particular plan and the goals uh, tracked here over these amount of five 10 sessions this is all neatly stored in this in this place so when it comes to the the therapy or the medical records and the way this works we have basically three key pieces so we have the clients we have the therapy sessions database and we have the progress plans and now just to just to wrap up uh, and complete the overview is kind of like the the admin admin part of uh, of the of the template or of the operating system and basically it's composed of tasks and uh, billing items so tasks are very simple basically you can track uh, i can open the detail of, of a task you can create any any task you can assign an owner due date status priority and you can also relate the task to a client uh, or a session or a care plan right so so as I said, uh, if you create, if I go to a uh, random session and I create add a follow up task, uh, a new follow up task will be created that's already automatically related to uh, this particular uh, client. Uh, but essentially, the task is like a simple, simple way to track any follow ups from the sessions, and you can use it in that way, or you can use it just for for any any admin tasks in your practice. And similarly, the billing items. So how do the billing items uh, work? So imagine you are running uh, you or you completed uh, this session uh, with uh, this particular client, Emily, uh, and you want to note that, okay, I'll be charging $100 uh, for this session. And I want to just uh, create a note for myself that I need to invoice this customer uh, for this particular uh, session. So what do you do here is you click on this button, create billable. And uh, this automatically creates a billable that is assigned to this particular session that we've created the billable from to this particular customer. And also the, the amount is uh, automatically uh, uh, copied from from uh, from that session, and the payment status of that uh, of this billable is automatically set to unpaid, of course. So that gives us uh, that gives us uh, that gives us basically the the overview here and the billing items uh, of all the outstanding items uh, that are still still unpaid and that are automatically linked of course as i shown you to the to the to the right uh, sessions and to the right customers so this simple billing system will probably not mm, you know completely uh, completely uh, uh, completely um, replace your invoicing solution but i think it's a it's a very simple and a neat way to kind of track all the invoices or all the all the yeah the the billables that you need to issue or follow up with your with your with your customers so that's a quick uh, walk through uh, through therapy hub uh, an operating system for therapists and mental health practitioners and as i said uh, this is something that's usable out of box in uh, in notion you kind of don't need uh, any other software to be able to do this and to manage your your practice in a simple simple manner so you have your client records you have your therapy session records with uh, a place to keep and store notes and you have also like a simple admin system uh, of tasks and the billing items built uh, built in and uh, maybe the last thing that i would say is that this is of course a template right so it's very easily 
uh, customizable to whatever workflow uh, you uh, you need in, in Notion. It's very easy to do without any programming knowledge or skills. So that's also another advantage of this. And the very last thing I would say, and then I will wrap up this video, is that uh, if you find this template useful and you would like to take it for a spin, you can find the link to it in the description below. And also don't hesitate to reach out with any question, uh, questions, comments, or feedback on whether this template could be helpful for you and or what would you need, need to see there uh, for it to be useful for you and your practice because uh, the feedback from actual people who use this template is uh, the most invaluable thing ever for me. So I would really, really appreciate it. So with that being said, thank you very much for checking out uh, Therapy Hub. And I hope this can be helpful for you. And I also hope to see you in the next video. Thank you very much and have a great one.